Cassava is a root vegetable grown in Colombia and over large parts of the tropical regions in South America. It's also grown in the Caribbean, in, in many countries in Africa, and also in Southeast Asia. It's a particularly important food security crop and forms a staple diet for uh, almost one billion people in about 105 countries around the world. The challenges for producing cassava are that cassava are grown in regions where the soils have particularly low fertility, like this one here. That means they have low levels of nutrients and in particular phosphorus, which is essential for the growth of cassava and other plants. We do our research in Colombia and in this region of Colombia, this is a post-conflict region where po poverty is relatively high. One of the ways of stabilizing the economy of the region is to produce cash crops like cassava that also feed the family and in this way uh, we can tackle the issue of hunger and poverty at the same time. We use mycorrhizal fungi to try and improve the production of cassava. In particular what we do is we genetically improve those fungi by crossing the fungi and breeding new varieties that hopefully will have larger effects on the production of this important plant. We don't work alone, we work with our partners at the National University of Colombia in Bogotá who have expertise in agronomy. So the National University in, Col in Colombia is the biggest university and we, are, um, we have a duty um, in terms of um, resolving or trying to provide answers to the problems in this country. So cassava is one of the main um, crops in the country and therefore we are interested in trying to improve the production of this uh, important crop. We do um, research in the lab with cassava and the uh, Arbuscula mycorrhiza fun fungi. We have to do our field experiments in, in Jopal and with the Universidad de la Salle because we need to go to uh, the environment and the soils and the places where the cassava is, is grown in the field. Utopia is the campus that belongs to the Universidad de la Salle here in the Eastern Plains. It holds around 200 agronomy students coming from different post-conflict regions in the country. Although the students are farmers, they come here to learn about agronomy. And this is an ideal situation for us because the technology that they learn here will be taken back to their communities by them to improve the crop productivity. Mycorrhizal fungi are fungi that live in the roots of plants. Almost all plant species have these fungi living inside them and those fungi help the plant take up nutrients from the soil, which normally they would have difficulty getting themselves. Without these fungi, cassava can hardly grow. The challenge with mycorrhizal fungi is to produce them in a clean system, in large amounts and concentrated. This is possible to do now with the in vitro system and this happens to be the system that our collaborator in Switzerland uses for the genetic work on the fungus. The reason the University of Lausanne is involved in this project is because we work on the genetics of mycorrhizal fungi. We grow the fungi in this in vitro system where we can cross the fungi and produce novel strains of the fungus that are genetically different. This ability to cross the fungi is probably the first time that people have actually tried to breed microbes to improve plant productivity. The advantage of this system we work with where we grow the fungi in vitro is that we can produce the novel genetic strains but at the same time if those strains are particularly good they can be scaled up and grown in large quantities so that we can inoculate uh, hundreds or thousands of hectares of cassava in the field in Colombia. Inoculation is carried out 
at planting. With this bottle of concentrated inoculum, we could inoculate at least uh, two hectares of cassava crops. First, we have to dilute, dilute the inoculum and then we just put uh, this cassava steak, uh, steaks into the inoculum and we plant it. What happened was quite exciting and to a total surprise to me. With some of the genetically novel lines of the fungus, the cassava were really small like this. That's not useful in agriculture, but it shows that genetics of the fungus has an effect on the production of this plant. But amazingly, some of them looked like this. That is much larger than this one, obviously, but also much larger than if we do not inoculate them at all. And that is the power of fungal genetics for improving the production of cassava. The challenge now is to take this technology to the Colombian farmers at an affordable price. Additionally, there is an enormous potential to use these fungi for an international breeding program and to deliver effective fungi for cassava production to other parts of the world, particularly Africa. My favorite cassava dish is an Amazon dish, which is called cassave. It's like a tortilla made with the flour of cassava. My favorite cassava dish is fried cassava with ahi. That's a bit like French fries with a hot chili sauce on it. <laughs>